Hi YouTube, I am back with a pick a card. So I had recorded something the um, yesterday, but um, for some reason it didn't record all the way. So now I'm just not feeling it. <laughs> I have to feel it. Um, so I'm just gonna do a whole different one. I'll go ahead and do that other one. I talked, I talked myself out, you know, yesterday. So I just didn't want to redo it again. It was just. <laughs> I was so tired by the end of it so I just left it alone I didn't post anything anyway so I have four options let's see what's next in love so we have aces here we have the um, of course Pac-Man the pink red orange blue we're gonna start with the pink here so if you want more time to choose you can pause it and let's get started and see what we have here okay so ace what do we have what's next for the ace on guard oh on guard probably because you have devil di in disguise so you you're gonna be on guard on whatever is next i don't know if you're in a connection already i'm gonna try to relate to both but um you might be on guard because there is someone here that is a devil in disguise or you're probably um you know feeling it out if you're you know talking to someone here oh you've been dealing with a devil in disguise so we have unforeseen love and on a pedestal someone will new will put you on a pedestal and treat you like royalty you'll feel loved and cherished that's one thing to know you know sometimes we do go through the honeymoon phase but you know that is honeymoon phase you want to show your best part after that you'll know if this person is going to give you reassurance if they make you feel great you know um if you don't go through that honeymoon phase and i wouldn't even you know i'd be very careful you know because some people know what they want right away okay um so i feel like you're on guard anyhow because of what you've gone through already so let's see what is this on guard give me more on on guard why is the pink pile on guard okay yeah okay i feel like You've given a lot in the past. You've been dealing. Yeah. You don't want to deal with, you know, people with masks here. You don't want to deal with inconsistency anymore. And I feel like this is someone already, you know, um, that knows their value. Give me more of this devil in disguise. Yeah. So there is a lot of, there could be a lot of, um, chemistry between you and someone else that's why you fell for this person and this person was probably you know there was probably a lot of petty arguments regarding something stable because i do see that you you want you wanted something stable i do see someone coming back in and apologizing for whatever you both have had had in the in the past but what i'm getting here is that you might even uh, meet someone better it's unforeseen love somebody else could be coming out from you know the left side you know maybe it's not it's not even this person somebody here could be coming in with the two of wands yeah if you're out there just doing your own thing working towards something maybe uh, exploring learning new things traveling it could be anything like that like you are being more open to whatever is out there four of cups you might be a little disappointed of course because you know you've probably been out there you've been looking for you know someone right somebody correct you know somebody that will do you do right by you so you might be feeling like well the past was better than it is now i wasn't lonely i was uh, you know with someone else so 
I feel like you could be there feeling that, but there is unforeseen love coming. It's just not here yet. That doesn't mean that's not going to get here. It happens when you least expect it, too. Somebody will be coming in that is going to put you on a pedestal. Um, so there is, there are people out there that know what to do. They, you know, they will give you that reassurance. Knight of Cups wants to pop out. They're not here yet. I feel like they will. This person is going to come in. Um, wow. Well, I feel like this person is going to come in, but whoever you are waiting on, somebody that you've put on a pedestal, really is going to cause more disappointment if you go, if you are still in that vibe okay but after this big disappointment that you've gone through i do feel someone coming in but they're just not here yet you're probably still you know trying to get over some kind of disappointment give me more of this knight of cups there is a big ending you know that you could still be kind of affected on you know there's yeah see knight of cups it is someone new Someone new that is going to be, uh, you know, willing to take time, you know, invest time, not in, in a big way, but Page of Pentacles is a date is going out. I don't see that they are here yet, or they could be, but for most of you, they're not here yet because this night, it has not got to this cup yet. So it's like, they will. They'll be here. Um, I, I'm sensing newness here, but if you're still dealing with the past, then you might um, be res them. They're probably coming back too. Most of you are gonna have the past coming back to some somebody a devil in disguise, but there's also some unforeseen love coming in. I do see that for this pile, so go with your intuition. But there is someone here wanting to. Um, I do also see somebody here wanting to apologize for the past. Sorry, guys. My neighbor's dogs are barking, so it gets my dog rattled up. So I do, for some of you, I do see that somebody that has disappointed you in the past wants to come. Somebody that you've put in a pedestal. I think I've said that before I cut it off. Um, but I do see someone trying to come back, make things right. But you don't trust this person because they do not have a good track record on, like, for you. You know, like, there is something here that, I don't know, it's, <laughs> it's really up to you, of course. Let's get some um, advice. This has a lot of females in here, but it can be for both, okay, genders. It's not gender specific, so just focus on the message. If you are, of course, not, uh, if you don't identify as a female, okay? It's just advice here for the ace. Um, pink ace. Give me one. Look ahead. Yep. Leave the past where it belongs. Look forward to what's coming next. Something better is waiting for you. I promise you. I told you. It's someone new. Somebody that's going to put you on a pedestal. Look ahead. Um, try to heal from this big disappointment. Okay. So that is what I have. Thank you so much. I know it's short. But I'm a little bit in a time crunch. <laughs> so we have water fire earth pisces sag earth could be a virgo capricorn a taurus um fire libra okay so that is what i have for you all thank you so much for watching let's keep going red ace let's see what we have blocked from love there may be emotional baggage from the past blocking you from true love I'm not even reading these. I don't know why. I was, I was, I wanted to read that. <laughs> I followed by just reading it. So you might be actually just blocked right now because you're still carrying some kind of emotional baggage. Or maybe you're healing that. 
I'm getting also somebody here is thinking that they're blocked from love for some reason. Okay. It's like in your thoughts. Teamwork. Okay. So there is someone in coming in seeing you as a team, you know, as a teammate, you know, a life teammate, a life partner, uh, somebody that wants to, you know, they have your back and you have theirs. Okay. So that's good. Mm, I don't read reversals, but interesting how this came out and reversed. And then we have blocked love. So it is someone new for some of you. But if you're feeling this, if you're still carrying emotional baggage, um, if you're still carrying emotional baggage from the past, you need to clear that up before you can move forward. That's probably why this one came out in reverse. Um, I don't read reversals, but it kind of seems like it was meant to be reversed. But there is someone here that is going to be matching your energy pretty much. That is what I'm feeling here. But it's not here yet because I do feel that somebody is carrying either something from the past or um, it could be any kind of energy like some uh, carrying emotional baggage, resentment, um, anything like that, any um, disappointments, any hurt, anger. It could also be just thoughts because those are energy too. Like that's the energy that you're carrying. So let's see. What is this red? This, oh, this red pile. Give me what is this blocked from love? The Hierophant. So I feel like you're having a struggle with yourself. Because I feel like you are finding yourself, you're being, you're, you know what your boundaries are, you want something good, you want commitment, you want to go by the book, you know, like, um, if you're, if you're from a different culture, you know, you know, you want to follow some kind of path and you know what you want, but you might be having some trouble here, some resistance with that. I do feel like it's kind of a, something, of course, that you're carrying that is causing some kind of resistance here. Like this inner conflict. Yeah, have some patience. Because if you are having this inner conflict, it is causing some kind of, um, like, unbalance. Even if it's emotional um, baggage from the past. So let's see, give me more of this teamwork. What is this teamwork? Teamwork. See, I told you there is someone coming in. It could be a new earth sign or somebody that, you know, is going to offer you something very different. Yeah. But it, I feel like you're going to be a bit confused. There's an opportunity for growth here. Um, it could be something that will set you up for stability, security. I feel like it's with someone new, of course. For some of you, it's a new cycle with someone um, that you already know, too. Yeah. You're a bit confused. Okay. If you do meet someone here, I do feel that you're going to be confused because you don't want this disappointment to come. There is still something that you are looking from the past. You're still kind of looking back disappointed confused not knowing if you should start all over maybe even you know if you should start a new cycle with someone maybe you're disappointed because it's not the person that you wish it was i'm not sure give me more on the seven of cups it's like you're confused about this new beginning that you're starting Yeah. So I feel like you feel disappointed because it kind of seems that you're never going to have this person. Like there's a commitment is very slow on coming towards you. You've been waiting for a long time for someone to, you know, be a team with. That's what I'm getting mainly. So this might not resonate with everyone. Give me more of this new romance. 
someone here is also saying i wish i didn't spend so much time on the wrong person i don't know it kind of seems that way give me more of this ro new romance like i wasted my whole time on this on this uh person here that didn't commit give me more of this new romance but there is someone new coming in it just has is not here yet i feel i feel like you've been waiting for a long time for this person give me more of this two of pentacles have some patience okay there is gonna be a decision here for some of you if you want new romance or if I don't know why it's giving me decisions here i don't know if you're needing to leave something behind or if you maybe you're not being clear with the universe and that's why new new romance came um reversed you know maybe you feel confused about the past or something someone new coming in because you you really wanted to reconciliate a part of you a piece of you wanted to come reconciliate with someone new someone old um maybe it's you needing to be clear with the the universe on what you really want for some of you you're gonna have to decide if you need maybe you're too busy with work as well you don't have time for new romance or you don't maybe <laughs> there is someone here busy at work maybe you need to make a decision because maybe you're um spreading yourself too thin at work or with love you don't have time to go out and date for some of you i'm feeling like you are trying to be patient but it's like i don't know you're trying to put your attention elsewhere just doing what you need to do on a day-to-day -day basis mm some of you need to make a decision and be clear what you want you know heal from the past and and keep moving this is a bit confusing 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 because i feel like i'm 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 picking up on someone that doesn't know exactly if they want to keep on with the past or they want this new love coming in and you have to sometimes you just have to be clear with the universe on what is it that you want there could be um a new air sign but there you're starting new a new cycle either way but i feel like some of you are confused not knowing if you want this new person or not or you had your hopes on someone that didn't want doesn't want to step up and commit you know that's what I'm getting for some of you. So it's very, very specific. It's not going to be for everyone. Let's see what the advice is. Maybe I'll, we'll get more. Um, you know, these has a lot of female. So don't pay attention. Just pay attention to the um, message. If you don't want to identify as a female, that's fine. Um, you know, the, is the message that counts. I never specify gender anyhow. I just look at the message. So let's see. Give me more of this. I just like the advice on here. So let's see what we have for the ace red ace group. Oh, too many. Okay, that one just wanted to said no. Don't put me back. So let's see. Take taking you for a ride careful not to be taken for a ride and waste your time chasing lies. Take control of your love life and realize you're good enough to deserve better. See? if somebody here is not committing to you maybe it's time to go to move to a new romance okay take control yourself and decide be clear with the universe what you really want you know maybe uh, you have been waiting for a very long time on somebody that didn't want to commit and it's just very disappointing to you you know trust me you don't i don't know you just don't want to waste your time with the the one that just won't commit but of course everybody has their own path so it could be different for everyone okay so that is your advice so i hope that felt like it resonated i do see a lot of earth libra air water taurus sag taurus um air i didn't see oh yeah i see fire 
um, earth, water, air, yeah. Okay, so that is what I have, wrong deck. So let's keep going. I hope that helps someone. Okay, Paul 3. I know this is a short one, but, you know, <laughs> I'm a little crunch, you know, time. I'm on a time crunch. Okay, let's see what we have. Cage love. A love interest might be stifling your potential and cramping your lifestyle. There's no time for that. Somebody here is caged. I'm not going by this, but I've been reading the first card. I don't know why. So maybe somebody just feels stuck in a love. Maybe you feel stuck in love with someone here. Like you can't not, you're not free to really, you know, you can't get out of a, like you're probably feel bound to someone. And you can't really go out and explore. You don't feel like it. Um, or somebody here is just, you're not interested. I don't know. Somebody's stifling your cramping your lifestyle okay so we have prized possession someone is more interested in having arm candy than true love making it very superficial relationship so be careful with this kind of energy um unless you're the one into it then to each his own <laughs> but if you don't want to be i'm kind of feeling that somebody here i'm going with my intuition somebody here is actually in it just to have a relationship just to talk to someone so you know to each his own but be careful you don't get stuck with a superficial relationship you know you miss out on real love um because it might not be true love okay soulmate your soulmate will come into your life to challenge you and help you grow it will be undeniable connection okay so you maybe you've already been you've dealt with someone and there's someone new let's get into it because i'm getting i always get different stories for threes i don't know why well i know why because i think three is very common <laughs> pile three is very common i don't know why <laughs> Let's see. Give me more of this caged love for this pile. What is this caged love? Mm. What is a caged love for threes? Okay. So someone's doing some self-care, self-love, but I'm with this card here. Oh, great. Hey, guys, my neighbor's dogs keep barking, so it rattles up my dog. <sighs> Anyways, okay, so what I'm getting here is that somebody here, you can't get away from the past. Can't get away from it. Somebody cannot let go of the past. Uh, you're rem reminiscing. You might even be feeling like someone took you for granted. Um, you feel like you're just stuck with this one. For some of you, you just want this one. <laughs> or you're just... Of course, you're with probably a soulmate. Okay? But I don't know. I don't get this prized possession. You're probably talking to someone. But there is something here from the past someone feels caged though might not be you but someone does like trapped in this connection too many two of pentacles wanted to come out though three of pentacles could be at work somebody at work or just um i never really relate i cannot relate to that at work i don't know why maybe because it's not my my belief system but of course it could mean work um it's not part of my belief system it, like i don't mix business with pleasure but anyways that's just me but i'm getting teamwork from a soulmate but uh, you know what i'm getting the most though is that somebody feels trapped because of rules how a relationship should be or um yeah, like somebody has different rules for this relationship or something like that. I don't know. It's so weird because what's being highlighted to me kind of seems like somebody is reading off um, 
rules like no you can't do that no you can't do like you can do this but you can't do that you have to check in with me at this time you check in with that i don't know there's just it could be something like that or it could be you know uh somebody wanting to work things out but someone could be feeling just trapped and taken for granted okay give me more of this prize position oh give me more of this prize position see trapped i told you i keep feeling this trapped i don't know if maybe i'm also getting well if i you know if i can succeed in this relationship they you know this will be my greatest accomplishment you know sometimes that happens when you are you know when you see everybody having their relationship when you see everybody getting married having their own life you know being happy you know you see it all the time on facebook or whatever you know um or in your culture because of mine you know we're supposed to be married with kids at a certain age and you know that's not the thing anymore i don't believe in that so it's like somebody just wants this because wow i'm succeeding in a i'm a in a relationship i finally have this to show to the world you know that kind of energy um give me more of this prize possession i don't know it's very specific so okay so somebody here there's attraction there's attraction some there's like chemistry but somebody doesn't open up and causes disappointment there could be a new beginning but somebody is just very could be also emotionally unavailable not giving in to this it could be starting new but somebody just feels trapped here give me more of this soulmate <laughs> sorry i keep repeating myself but it just keeps coming up give me more of this soulmate so You've known this person from a from um, a past life, if you believe in that. I also feel like things are happening the way that it should behind the scenes. This is the way that is meant to play out. Why? Because I feel like there is a lot to learn from all these wounds. Of course, somebody here is feeling a burden. There's been a lot of wounds. Maybe people interfering too. I'm getting people interfering. People's um, advice to s whoever feels has that wall up. There could be a lot of people in someone's ears that you don't even know. But you do feel that soulmate connection. But I don't feel like someone here feels that connected to you for some reason. Yeah, the high priestess could be connection. But, you know, it causes a lot of burden. It causes a lot of hurt. Um, give me more of this high priestess. Oh, too much. The chariot wanted to come out. So you will be overcoming these obstacles. But let's see. Give me more of this the high priestess. You'll be moving forward. The moon. Things are happening behind the scenes that you might not know here. Okay. There is uh, some kind of a phase. Use your intuition because there is unknown. I don't want to get. There is something in the unknown. I, I feel like you're not using your intuition. Someone's not using their intuition because it, something here is not being revealed and i don't think i think it varies for a lot of people because i'm not getting anything clear here there's like something happening behind the scenes okay so there is there could be somebody that just does not want Somebody here feels like this is their soulmate, but it causes a lot of hurt, a lot of burden, and this person wants to roam free. Could be vice versa too, but that's what I'm feeling. Okay. For some of you, there is someone new coming in. If you've been disappointed here, there is an Aries coming in or just a fire sign or a Pisces coming in. But there is a new beginning here, a new cycle with a soulmate. 
some of you are just not letting go of this person and there's things happening behind the scenes meaning they could be just roaming free not wanting this baggage not wanting these rules of a relationship not wanting to you know um that's what i see here for some of you i don't know just take what resonates because there is a couple of storylines there's i feel like this person whoever you're connecting with just doesn't want the emotional baggage um doesn't want the baggage or any burdens or re responsibilities of a relationship right now um yeah it kind of seems like that okay let's see what the advi advice we have okay i've been telling everybody this has a lot of females in it if you don't identify with a female just listen to the message you know i never talk about gender in this uh channel because i know it's general you know and i know i have um i have you know both genders so and i'm so grateful too because i kind of want to stay neutral you know let's see what's the advice here for the orange what's the advice here for the orange there's also something very something that needs to be learned here and it's a very very heavy lesson to learn okay for some of you there's always lessons to learn from people around us all the time but this is like really heavy it's gonna be a bit difficult for some of you to learn or it has been okay so give me more on this special event interesting Fate will play a role in your love life. Pay attention to the people who come into your life unexpectedly. Stay curious and keep exploring. So that's what it is here. Keep exploring because there is a lot of emotional baggage still from the past. Maybe feeling. Keep exploring and stay curious. If you are, you know, up in the air with someone here because you really wanted to start again. Keep exploring. Heal from these wounds. Um, this burden over this fate, of course. I, I didn't say that because the high priestess is, you know, something behind the scenes is happening here. So keep exploring. If this is a, this is a soulmate um, of yours then this person is here to challenge you to challenge you to m teach you something about your soul's growth your soul your spiritual path as well okay your soul growth soul's growth okay so that is what i have okay so maybe there's a decision to make and that's the challenge too okay or making things right we have libra we have earth pisces cancer water fire earth aries pisces cancer taurus um fire okay but i think i saw all of them i saw what fire earth air water so it doesn't really matter i have a lot a lot of water fire earth yeah interesting no air just the libra yep no air okay so that is what i have thank you so much okay so a blue pile let's see what we have for you what's uh, on the rebound someone is on the rebound this could be confusing right take things slow okay take things slow unspoken loves so you or your partner will probably not profess their love right away we have playing the field okay somebody here is playing the field someone is playing the field somebody is on the rebound um we'll look more about this unspoken love maybe you found somebody like a rebound <laughs> for some of you but let's look into it some more um Be open to playing the field for some of you. 
um, somebody here that w you're probably the rebound and they haven't told you is probably just playing the field right now they're not ready to settle down okay that's what stood out right now give me more on this playing the field I'm getting very specific energy, so I apologize if it doesn't resonate. Ooh, playing the field. Ooh, okay. Newness. New, you know, a lot of chemistry, lust, um, a lot of SEX, you know. Ooh, making things happen, taking their shot, you know, shooting their shot. Somebody shooting their shot. <laughs> I don't know. Somebody impressing you. Somebody very hot. Um, could be somebody that you've gone out and had fun with. Or that's probably what's next. Yeah, somebody hot. Um, somebody's playing the field here. Either you or them. But I feel like someone's the life of the party here. Somebody's attractive. Just take what resonates. Give me more of this on the rebound. Mm, there's been... There's been already some messy X for some of you, okay? Could be also casual. Give me more of this on the rebound. Some has someone has potential as well. They find you very attractive. Okay, so for some of you this hasn't came in yet, but it's coming in. Um you could be on the rebound, okay? Somebody probably online or somebody you know online. It could be any kind of online dating site or online Facebook, TikTok, whatever. A lot of people are getting creative out there online. <laughs> Let's see. Give me more of this world. Yeah. Somebody's coming in. Okay. You might be on the rebound as well. You're probably playing the fields. This is not going to resonate with everybody, but this is new. Um, you've closed out something that you probably were still waiting on somebody to come in. But I do feel like there's been like a... Uh, there might have not been any closure. But somebody... That's why someone's on the rebound. You could probably be jumping into something soon. Yeah, someone's coming towards you. Mm-hmm. And they're pretty confident about it. Very flirty could be online i'm telling you it's online for some for most of you give me more of this unspoken love oh wow unspoken love indeed this is gonna be a strong message you don't see this coming i feel like you're still looking at the past as being the is better but I think you don't see it coming. There is some something here. A new soulmate. I'm getting a new soulmate. I don't know why. But it, it could be um, somebody from the past. But I don't. I feel like there is just big disappointment from the past here. You could be reminiscing about the past. How, you know, love wasn't expressed. But I still get someone new. Give me more of this um, lovers and six of cups, which is twin flame or soulmate. Um, okay, so there is a lot of attraction. I feel like there could be a decision to be made, either past or new. There's a lot of attraction with this new person. Um, for some of you, you're just in limbo. You just don't know you want past or you want new. Uh, because this is past. You might be feeling rejected from the past too. Give me more of this Four of Cups. Yeah, your wish fulfillment is somebody from, you know, the past. Because this person is looking at the past, bored, doesn't even know what's in front of them, coming towards them. There is a brand new cup in back of him. So it's like, it's not gender specific. I'm just describing the depiction here it's it's the ace of cups over here but they're still looking at you know what's behind them well not behind them but the past okay maybe wishing hoping so 
there could be someone coming in here you're gonna have a lot of attraction with hmm let's see this person is gonna be very confident as well very confident they're gonna also impress you i'm getting for some of you let's see what advice we have for you and then see if it gives us more info also this is not gender specific this deck has a lot of females but it, you, you know if you don't identify with female that's fine just listen to the um the message is what matters i i don't talk about gender here because it really is the message that counts let's say give me more of this blue petal advice for them stay grounded okay try to balance yourself here and don't fall too soon okay don't fall too fast because somebody could be on the rebound but that could be you <laughs> That's what I was getting. Take a step back and be fully conscious in the present moment to align your soul to your true self and help you control your emotions. Yeah. Don't too, don't get too carried away with what's coming, you know. Don't get carried away with, oh, this is my soulmate, my twin flame. And, you know, it could be just, you know, you trying to forget the past, you know, because you had high hopes. This is someone also dreaming of what it what could be okay but you might we can't we have to stay present because you might get disappointed on how things could play out because if you're living in the in the future right away you know you can disappoint yourself just you know don't expect anything stay present stay balanced um and it can go somewhere i'm gonna take out one more for this pile of spirit guides love wins mm -hmm. no matter how long it takes true love always wins cupid's love brew is being made special just for you to win your heart see stay grounded don't get disappointed on just because things are not playing out the way that you want okay so i do sense that there is someone new coming in though just remember um that love wins okay and something is brewing okay so that is what i have um i do have a gemini pisces earth cancer uh taurus taurus aquarius um leo scorpio i don't know why i wanted to say virgo um leo virgo gemini could be you or them i don't know okay so that is what i have thank you so much for watching and i will be back later take care of you bye